Okay, this is on how to make your own icon using Microsoft Paint. Uh, yeah, that's all you need, just Microsoft Paint. So first you want to go to, once you have opened Microsoft Paint, you want to go to Image, then Attributes, and then you can have this either be 32, 32, 64, 64, or 128, 128, and then you can times that number by 2, and then that number by 2. Just as long as it's square and, um, yeah. And make sure that the measurement's on Pixel. Uh, so then you press OK and then it should be there and um... and you just draw your icon oh and um... just so you know the icons that you make on here all i know is that they just have to be square they, they you can't have them be sprites so but they're easy to make and everything so once you're done drawing your icon uh, you go file and save as you can pretty much save it wherever you want. We'll save it in my document, and then we can just name it. You can name it whatever uh, we want. We want. So you can just be like uh, picture or something like that. Dot ico. And the reason we add the dot ico to the end is because uh, the ico stands for icon, and so then it automatically saves it as an icon file. So then you go OK or save, and you go ahead and X out of this paint document, and then you go to the file that we saved it in. So my documents. And there it is. This is the icon. And you can, I think, you can pretty much attach it to anything you want. And if you know how to attach it to stuff, then you can um, pretty much just access ex out of the video or stop the video or whatever. And if you don't, then I'm going to show you how right now. So we can change the icon of a shortcut or a folder. I'm not sure what other stuff you can change it. So we can just change the icon of, say, uh, HTML. I don't know what that is. And then you go to, um, you right click on it, and then you go to properties, and then customize, and then change icon down at the bottom, and then browse, and then go to the file that you, that you found, that you saved it in. So I saved it in my documents, and there it is. And it's right there. So, uh, you go open, and then make sure it's selected, and then OK and then apply and then okay and the html folder that i just changed the icon of should be changed uh... i guess that's all okay uh... thanks